know what's up aquas what it do y'all already know what time it is it's your girl life of pinky period and i am back again with another reading for my aqua babies uh it is currently tuesday night wednesday morning it's like two o'clock in the morning or something like that um i just woke up from a coma nap so yeah i was like damn so y'all i had a long day baby i was supposed to do y'all a reading on my lunch break baby skip my lunch break we'll do a story time maybe but child baby i was so mad come to find out i was mad for nothing so some of y'all could be getting upset for nothing um you know blowing shit out of proportion making shit bigger than what it really is in your head of course um so yeah that's what i went through a little bit of today but anyway let's go ahead and get on into it aquas I'm not going to drag it out. I'm not going to bore y'all to death. Let's get into it. Let's find out what's coming towards my aquas and love. Freakily. Trina. Latoya. I don't know. Stacy. I don't know. Somebody a freak. Spirit. What's coming towards my aquas and love? What is coming towards the aquas and love? What's coming towards the aquas and love? Messages for the person that's on Aqua's mind. Let's come in towards Aqua's in love. Stay optimistic about your love life. Calling in your soulmate. Heart to heart conversations. Hmm. So what I'm getting is this is something that you've like manifested. You're calling this person in. Maybe you're waiting on this person to return. Or they're waiting on you, one or the other. I feel like you two are going to have a very deep conversation. It says heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I feel like you're going to have a very deep conversation with this person about the way you feel. Um, you've been fairly optimistic or you're trying to stay optimistic about your love life right now. Or you need to. I feel like continue to think positive. You know, shit ain't happening to you. It's happening for you, okay? Period. Y'all see, I done took them damn press-ons off, baby. Baby, I was going through that word. One arm broke and I was done. <laughs> anyway, um, at the bottom of the deck, it says it is safe for you to love. So it's definitely safe for you to love at this time, Aquarius. They're telling me to pull some more. Um, so, yeah, let's see. I feel like it's safe for you to love. I feel like you've been very optimistic. You know, you've been very positive when it comes to your love life. When it comes to love in general. So it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I feel like you've been very positive. You know, you've had faith that maybe this person will return. Yeah, separation. You've had faith that this person will return. Um, and and I feel like keep, you know, keep it, keep it together. I'm going to keep it together. We got attraction. So I feel like you attract like attracts, attracts like. Um, so you may be attracting your soulmate, calling in your soulmate. You're manifesting. You're putting it out there in the universe that you know you're ready. You're ready for this. At the bottom of the deck, it says children. So children um, could play a major role when it comes to this connection. Maybe you two have children together. Maybe you talked about having children together. You might be pregnant in separation right now. I don't know. Spirit, give me one more for the aquas in love. It's coming towards my aquas in love. Worth waiting for. And they said, that's it. So, yeah. <laughs> Worth waiting for it because you're calling in your soulmate wedding at the bottom of the deck. This is a, uh, this, it says this situation involves marriage. So, I feel like this connection is going to happen regardless. Um, you're going to meet the one, or maybe you've already met the, met the person that you're supposed to marry. I feel like. Trust in divine timing. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. So, I feel like right now, maybe you might be ready to love, but spirit don't think you, you ready. You know? They holding it back from you for a little bit, but it's okay. Stay optimistic about it, Aquas. Okay, spirit, let me talk. What messages do we have for the Aquas? Passion. Try something you've never done before. So... Aquas, y'all know we like, we're fixed signs. You know, we like shit to go a certain way. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
okay but i feel like this is saying try something new aquas try something you've never done before whether this is in love um communication baby at work i don't know i feel like maybe you need to reach out maybe this person was doing the reaching out maybe you need to reach out and offer a date I don't know. It says abundance at the bottom of the deck, though. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. So I feel like you've done the work. You've healed. You know, and you're ready. And I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, you've done the work. Abundance is coming. But I feel like there could be more work that needs to be done. Maybe not on your part, but on your person's part. Um, so maybe that's what the separation and the worth waiting for is here about. Yeah, it says different pages. So you two could have been on two different pages or you're still on different pages. So I feel like you've done the work. Abundance is going to flow to you now. <laughs> well, no about your person. Maybe your person is the abundance. I don't know, Aquas. Mm -hmm. We can listen to Ryan. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquas? Messages of love for the Aquarius. Attraction and calling in your soulmate. Y'all, and I keep feeling stuff like crawling on my legs. It's not nothing crawling on my legs or like tingling my legs. Release. Release so that it can return to you. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. So release Aquarius. It says unplug at the bottom of the deck. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. So either someone here works a lot or you're going to be is what you don't see coming. I don't know if you're not working a lot now, but I feel like you're going to be. It's time to release. You have to accept what is and what isn't. Release and let it go. Surrender. And then it'll come back to you. They say if you love something, you've got to let it go. Okay. And if it comes back, then it means so much more. Mm. But if it never does, at least you will know. <laughs> that it was something you had to go through to grow. Okay. Somebody said, in my mind. I'll always be his lady in my mind. Okay, y'all better. Hey, about to take y'all to church. It says go slow, Aquarius. So, yeah, go slow. Take time to get to know each other. I feel like this is going to lead up to a marriage, a very, you know, strong commitment, strong connection. Or it just could be a commitment together, a contract. It says intuition. You already know the answer you seek, Aqua. Of course you do. What don't we know? Right? Of course you know. We're going we to get a few from the hidden oracle. The hidden truth. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the Aquarius from their person? Love. 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 <laughs> I just thought about uh, stepbrothers. How about love, 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 love. Y'all know what I'm talking about if you've seen Step Brothers. It says, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So I feel like you and this person went through something, you know, it, 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 it brought you to a part, clearly, separation. And I feel like there was a spiritual lesson that had to be learned here. Someone had to do a little bit of growing, like I said. Someone had to do a little bit of healing. You and this person both. And it says, finding out the truth crushed me. So <laughs> something was revealed with or without your knowledge it says i feel you leaving me behind and they don't want me to put that card down for nothing baby it fell i picked it up and keep falling so yeah release i feel you leaving me behind this person feels you you know disconnecting but guess what it says at the bottom of the deck we will be together again aqua you mark my words we will okay aqua that's what they said that's what I said, I feel you leaving me behind. I feel like you learned from this spiritual lesson. And it was something you had to go through to grow. You had to release it. You had to let it go. Surrender, honey, so that you can call in your soulmate. Because maybe this person is not your soulmate. I don't know. It just 
Nothing out here says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. It says you already know the answer you seek. You already know what's going on, Aquarius. I feel like y'all just be looking for clarity. That's all. You just need a little clarity. Just a little. I knew that, but I need to hear somebody else say it. Type shit. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I be doing the same shit. Uh, I be doing the same shit. Look at this. Forum. At the bottom of the deck, I look for you everywhere. So, yeah, this person looking for you now, Aquarius. What Aquarius? Hi, 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 hi. Okay, they looking for you, Aqua. It says, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, of course. We know. We know that. I hide behind material things. I don't react when people mention you. And I couldn't let you get close to me. I feel like you were, you were close to... Making this person clearly fall in love. Y'all were talking about marriage and weddings. But I feel like now it's saying if, you know, you want this to work, it's worth waiting for. Please stay optimistic. Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your person about how you truly feel. They're telling me not to do and do these. So let's see what's going on. Um, tell your person how you feel. Period. Do something different. This is do something different. Look at this. King of Cups. Tell your person how you feel. Do something different, Aquas. Dare to be different. It says Knight of Swords. So someone could be rushing in, rushing towards you, or rushing towards this um, connection now. Rushing in with some type of communication. They want to, whoa. Y'all, yeah, it's a big ass bug. It's a big ass water bug. They want to offer you some type of commitment. But I feel like first they want to come in and offer you some type of clarity or truth about something. Um, yeah, maybe about their lifestyle or about what they've been doing. I don't know. I feel like this. They feel like it's too late. Now they're running behind you is what this card is giving me. It's like, yeah, he running to that bike. And he think he moving fast and shit. I mean, you know, the Knight of Swords is one of the fast moving swords but i mean one of the fast moving nights but yeah i just feel like i feel you leaving me behind so now that they feel you pulling away from this connection they're trying to run towards you they're trying to stop you and we didn't look at the bottom of the deck so i feel like you're not gonna see this coming this is something that you're not even gonna see coming it's gonna be unexpected Spirit, what are the messages do we have for the Aquarius in love? Damn. 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 Okay, yep. Coming in to reveal some type of truth or some. You could be dealing with a, uh, another air sign or water sign, Pisces. Okay, hold on, y'all, because this motherfucker moved. Okay, child. Honey, because y'all know I don't, I don't, mm -mm. I don't play with books. That's why sometimes I don't like living on the lake. Because, <laughs> baby, these bugs out here, they don't give a damn. They come all up in your house. Y'all don't pay bills in here. Coming all up in somebody's shit. Anyway, Aquas, let's get back into it. So, as I was saying, yeah, there's some secrets. You could be dealing with a, a air sign or a water sign. Like I was saying, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I just feel like they're rushing back in. To either clarify some secrets, clear up some secrets. There are some secrets that's going to be revealed or something that's going to be revealed. We did see um, I was crushed when I found out the truth. So, yeah, I feel like there's some secrets. Or maybe this person is um, connecting with you in your dream state or in your dreams, you know. Or this is just your intuition, period. This is intuition. So, intuition is definitely out here. You're getting some type of divine communication or um, there's hidden information that you need to you need to get more information on this situation. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So you need to get more information on the situation. I feel like this talks about secrets about how someone felt about their money, their finances. Maybe they felt like they didn't have enough to offer you. I feel like maybe they want to come back in and let you know that that was the secret. They didn't really have it all together. You know what I mean? They was really, you know. In a poverty mindset, worried about their money. They isolated themselves when it came to money or uh, they had some type of financial loss. <coughs> so I feel like that's why the connection didn't work. I feel like they were trying to get themselves together. Um, but you're, it, it's going to be revealed, you know. You know, it's going to be revealed. You could be having epiphanies about this or this is just you looking deeper. I feel like you need to look deeper. 
Look beyond the surface. Look beyond the surface, Aquarius. Get deep. I feel like maybe you're going to have a deep heart-to-heart -heart emotion filled conversation with this person. This is a water sign. Um, so yeah, you could be having visions about this. There's just a lot of mystery when it comes to this connection. There's just a lot of a lot of mystery surrounding it. A lot of secrets. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the aquas? more for the apples the moon that's major arcana that's a lesson you will be learning if not already learned or a, or a lesson that you'll have to overcome a cycle that you'll have to you know close out there's secrets here Aquarius I feel like your spirit has your ancestors they're giving you the answers honey you could be getting downloads about this shit I feel like I just heard you too deep for me. <laughs> so I don't know either. This is you telling somebody like you too deep for me, honey. Or vice versa. This is somebody telling you like you too deep, Aqua. You too deep. <laughs> this is definitely somebody telling you you too deep. We not taking all these. Spirit, give me one card. One more card for the Aquarius. One more. Okay, Page of Cups. So there could be a younger water sign rushing in towards you. Maybe that's the secret. Or maybe someone found out that you're dating now or you're back dating. I don't know. Page of Cups is it just gives me surprise. Like, um, surprise, I'm back. I feel like this could be somebody that you work with. Or it's giving me somebody that's younger than you were. You're younger than this person. Um, but they want to come and offer you their cup. They don't have much to offer, but they want to offer it to you. Um, I feel like maybe they realized, you know, it's not all about the finances. It's not all about, you know, me having it all together. The Aquarius fucked with me regardless of if I had my shit together or not. And I feel like now they're realizing it. Look, this is like heart out of chest. He floating. <laughs> But I feel like this person is not grounded. Like, you know what I mean? They're not all the way there. I feel like their heads are their head is in the clouds or some shit. Like flying pigs and all kind of shit in this car. So you know what I mean? I feel like they all over the place. Um But they wanna be with you. <laughs> uh they wanna be with you. This is new love. This is somebody new coming in, or they're just coming in in new love energy. Yeah, they wanna offer you stability. With the four of wands here. You could be celebrating. This is like, you know, a reunion. Maybe you're going to meet this person at some type of celebration or a reunion, a birthday party. You know, I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Leave what does not. This could be a family reunion. Some of you could be having friend reunions. I don't know. That's who that's for. <coughs> um, but yeah, I just feel like this is a separation. A separation. This is a separation that's bound to reconnect. I feel like you're going to reconnect at some type of wedding. There is a wedding here. Or, I don't know, bridal party. I don't know. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Yeah, justice. So you're going to get justice from whoever this person is that's rushing in. They're going to bring you some justice. I feel like they know you deserve this. This is uh, air sign energy as well. So uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be dealing with another Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. But I just feel like this person, um, they know that they're supposed to be bringing you this justice, this truth. They're going to come in with some type of clarity. We we talked about that, though. This is bound to happen with this uh, Justice card here, Major Arcana. It's bound to happen. It's unavoidable. The truth has to come out, and it's going to be revealed. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. About how hard somebody was really working to make this shit work. Like, somebody was trying to master their craft or master something um, before they returned, before they brought you this justice. Or I feel like maybe this is you finally getting your justice because you've mastered this. You've mastered this lesson. Um, so yeah, you're going to get justice, Aquarius. Period. There's going to be some stability and some, you know, resolutions brought forward. Clarify the moon spirit. Why is the moon here? Why 
that's the moon here okay the moon is here death and rebirth so yeah you get <laughs> nothing but lessons after lesson lesson on lesson on lesson thank you for the spiritual lesson lesson on lesson on lesson page of swords yeah at the bottom of the deck somebody in your business that's neither here nor there um we have the death card clarifying the moon so i feel like this is like an end to the secrets um water sign energy <coughs> throat chakra water sign energy again could be dealing with the scorpio death speaks of you know endings and you know clearing out the old for the new death and rebirth so i feel like yeah you were reborn through this situation i feel like there is some um secrets here that might have might have damn near took you the fuck out okay yeah you had to re regrow from this maybe this was an ego death i feel like there's a change though there's a change for the better here once you clarify what this deeper meaning meant what these secrets were about these you know you know secrets with the page of swords at the bottom of the deck i feel like once you clarified everything you you figured out what you had to let go what needed to end so that you could bring in a new beginning um excuse me so i feel like there's definitely either a younger water sign coming towards you or you're going towards a younger water sign you got some type of justice from whatever this situation was with this air sign it ended <laughs> maybe it was painful maybe it wasn't i just feel like you know it was it, it needed to happen it was a change for the better page of swords at the bottom of the deck so like i said it ended something ended maybe with a younger air sign um somebody that was always in your business honey <laughs> trying to get the truth about what the fuck was going on or maybe this is you aquarius maybe um you were just very curious about whatever this situation was and you followed through with it i don't know maybe you kept some type of secret that you were dating this person and now the secret's out cat's out the bag somebody maybe somebody telling your business i don't know this is giving me somebody's in your business spying gossiping all that shit trying to get you know maybe following you from other people pages or they just trying to get in your business aquarius this could be a younger air sign or maybe they have air placements libra is is what is given um clarify the page of cut spirit Clarify the page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here? younger air sign that's in your fucking business or maybe there's a younger air sign that's coming back into i don't know bring you some type of truth something that they found out i don't know aquas yeah we got the five of pentacles this person feels like they're isolated or maybe they're money they money a little funny uh aquarius um but i, I just feel like they're in your business it's, that's what it's given. They're in your business. They're trying to see what's going on. They're reading up, trying to find out more about you. Or maybe this is this uh, page of cups. I don't know. Maybe they're... It's, a, it's given walk a straight line. It's what it's given. It's given walk a straight line, Aquarius. So, I don't know, Aquas. Take what resonates and leave what does not. I'm going to get one richest oracle and we're going to get out of here. I'm gonna get out of here because I got some homework. Oh, sleep on. Spirit, what messages do we have for the Aquarius? I just feel like somebody trying to get some info either out of your water sign or they're giving some info, they're feeding info, or they're gonna be trying to feed info to your water sign. Because this person is stressed and depressed and in distress, okay? Stressed the fuck out with the five of pentacles down here left out in the motherfucking cold, okay? Maybe there's a younger air sign that feels like, or air sign period. There's air and water placement here. No earth, no fire. So, 
yeah, maybe this person feels like you left them out in the cold. This younger air sign or younger water sign. I don't know. I definitely feel like there's going to be some justice here. You're going to get justice. I feel like there's some injustice, obviously. That's why somebody's trying to rush back in and bring you justice. Um, they're trying to, you know, shut down any secret that you may have heard with the death and the moon card. They're trying to block those uh, messages from getting to you. Or somebody's trying to stop them from getting to you. And I asked for one but we got two so it says ritual invocation so somebody could be doing a ritual i don't know somebody tried to do some type of ritual maybe in regards to your fertility or they're trying to stop your growth or stop you from you know birthing new ideas birthing new things i don't know that's for who that's for but i just feel like maybe you're maybe you did a ritual this is given coven but this is the same it looks like the same girl just her and her shadow self or maybe this is four different girls. I don't know. There's someone here doing rituals. Or I feel like maybe you're doing a ritual. Some type of ritual in regards to your fertility. And we have Watchtower of the South. Summer at the bottom of the deck. So yeah. I just feel like you're birthing new ideas. Or maybe someone is going to give birth. Or you're giving birth. I don't know. Someone could be pregnant. We talked about that earlier. <laughs> um, They're telling me to read them. So I'm going to read them. And then we're going to get up out of here honey. So let's see. We got ritual. Draw down the moon. Goddess descends. Draw down the sun. God his spirit to lend. And with all now share what must be told. Protection and honor for all involved. This magic is worked with harm to none. So mote it be. There it is done. Your desire to connect with the goddesses and the gods has been acknowledged. But do you understand the true nature of the deities that you are trying to summon? Heed the warning that invocation brings forth uh, for this action is not without danger or f it is not without danger for the inexperienced. Ritual teaches you to prepare for power and to judge wisely. It is vital to know about those you wish to invoke. Learn their dislikes and likes and surround yourself with their attributes, buttes, and the things that they are associated with or represent. True invocation, and they go to thunder, is to surrender, to be a vessel. In order for the deity, the deity you have summoned to function within you for a short period. This card has been drawn to assure you that the love and relationship you have with a particular goddess or god is real and runs through the very essence of who you are through the mist of times. Through the mist of time. As you aspire to be more than your own greatness and to be humble enough to serve, the connection becomes stronger. Join a coven, I told y'all. Join a coven for ritual work and safety. Your connection with the deity with the deity is linked to past lives. Honor the deity, honor the deities in all their forms through prayer, ritual, dance, chants, and offerings. Remember your protection. Dedicate an altar to your favorite deities. Ritual reveal. It's important to focus on the uh, purpose of your ritual with intention and right action. Justice. Once this is done, clear the area, then cast the circle. Call to the four quarters or watchtowers. Then call upon the Lord and Lady. Build up the cone of power, then state your purpose. Once finished, thank the deities. Then release the quarters and the circle with love. And then we have fertility... I just saw Hex, so whatever. Now, I can't find fertility. It should be right here, and it's not. Mm. Maybe it's in the bees. Let's see, hold on, y'all. Yeah. The god sows deep his natural seed, impregnates goddess, nature's need, and from this union will come birth, yours to share across this earth. This magic is worked with harm to none, so mote it be, there it is done. Can y'all see my TV? Oh, that's my leg. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> which is wisdom. The energy of the cross-quarter festival bells hang surrounds you. This celebrates the god impregnating the goddess, who... In mother form, bursts forth growth from spring into summer. 
snow like the goddess of nature at this time you are nearly in full bloom the tiny seeds of creativity you planted earlier have developed their shoots have sprung and are ready to blossom this marks a very fertile time for you a new idea or a project can now be fulfilled your creative power is stirring within ready to be birthed <clears throat> success will follow as you draw upon the gifts that the element of fire offers whose rights are honored throughout the festival of Beltane. Passion, desire, confidence, and strength accompany you as you take appropriate action towards your dreams and goals. Uh, which is foresight. Explore your sexuality. Your ideas are coming to fruition. Do you do what you feel passionate about? Taking action will bring about desire uh, results. Participate in a fire walk. Time to celebrate. Beltane. I told y'all that card gives me fire, like the like the liquid that go back in the in the. It's butane, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Beltane, also known as May Day, is celebrated on the first of May. The feast honors the Green Man and Marion, his May Queen, in sacred union. Couples come together to celebrate this fire festival with songs, dancing around the Maypole, and sacred union of hand fasting and holy. Fires. I told y'all that, that card give me give me fire. I think about the stuff that go back in the in the light as the butane. I don't know why. Anyway, watch Tower of the South Summer. Some of y'all could stay in the South. Maybe y'all a boo thing. Stay down South. I don't know. I could just get into it. Ignite the flames of summer and know you are the power, the sacred glow. Love and passion stirred and invoked. Abundance is yours. Now the fire. Somebody hey. Spiritual burps. <laughs> Abundance is yours. Now the fire is stoked. This magic is worked with harm to none. So mode it be. There it is done. This video so long. We got to get up out of here, y'all. Calling upon the guardians and gatekeepers of the South. The season of summer brings you love as it works in conjunction with the element of fire. By visiting the Watchtower of the South, you are being assisted in awakening your kundalini energy through lust, attraction, and desire. Strength and power fuels the motivating life force energy that ignites your inner flame. The South will accompany you as you walk your path with vitality and vigor. Connect with the mother aspect of the triple goddess and the father god who brings everything you've worked hard for. Your work is done. Time to have fun and enjoy the abundance that summer bestows upon you. I feel like in the summer months, y'all gonna be lit, okay? Aquarius, I feel like y'all gonna be having so much fun, period. The color red represents the element of fire and should be used in accordance with your magical workings at the time of noon. Summer breathes renewed passion into your association with the card that flanks this one. Uh, which is foresight. An old flame turns up. Mm. Romance is rekindled. New passion is breathed into a relationship. You are seeing the fruits of your labor. Your hard work has paid off. Enjoy the rewards. You have attracted the energy of abundance. Draw down the sun. Watch Towers of the South reveal. Hail and welcome to the guardians who watch over us in the direction of South. Within and without the element of fire burns brightly bringing us physical manifestation this is the time of high noon of summer's intensity and passion a fame or sword is the magical tool for the south the god and the goddess are now mother and father to all okay so somebody finna have a baby period they keep to my mom and daddy and baby and you know just that and the third so aquas i love you guys so much thank you for watching if it did resonate please don't forget to like share comment you know and subscribe if you haven't already period and i will see y'all in the next one peace love and light peace out